Sage Valmiki, also known as Adi Kavi, or the first poet of Sanskrit literature, composed the life of Lord Ram in one of the most beautiful and intricate Sanskrit works, the Ramayanam. Along with narrating the story of Lord Ram, Sage Valmiki also encoded extremely powerful mantras and the essence of Tantra Shastra within these 24,000 shlokas. In this video, let's look at the shlokas of Ramayanam which encode the Bija mantras of the powerful Gayatri mantra within them. The Sanskrit channel is an effort to explore a vast variety of topics from original Sanskrit literature. If you wish to support this effort, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution through these options. Your support will help us improve the quality, length and number of topics covered in our videos. Do check out all the links in the description below. Ramayanam is a collection of 24,000 shlokas composed by Adikavi Valmiki. These 24,000 verses are not just rich in sound and beautiful in meaning, they are also profound in terms of the wisdom that they carry. The number of layers of meaning these verses hold within them can be unraveled for lifetimes together. In this video, let's look at one of such mysteries where all the Bija mantras of the Gayatri mantra have been encrypted into these 24,000 verses. In order to identify these Bija mantras in Ramayanam, let's first look at what these root sounds are within the Gayatri mantra first. As most of us know, the individual sounds of the Gayatri mantra are Om, Bhuhu, Bhuvaha, Suvaha, Tat, Savituhu, Varenyam, Bhargaha, Devasya, Dhimahi, Dhiyaha, Yaha, Naha, Prachodayat. These individual words are popularly chanted together either in a Vedic tune or even more popularly by Srimati Anuradha Paudwalji in a musical rendition. While the meaning of Gayatri Mantra is extremely profound and is important to fully benefit from the chant, the essence of it is in the sound and the syllables that are uttered. We will do a more detailed exploration of Gayatri Mantra itself in a different video. For now, let's keep these root syllables of Gayatri Mantra in mind. Leaving the first invocatory phrase aside, which is called as Nyasam, we see that the Gayatri Mantra too has exactly 24 root syllables in it. The significance of the number 24 is another complete exploration within itself. Anyways, coming back to Ramayanam, we can clearly see that these exact Bija Mantras are clearly used at the beginning of the most significant shlokas in the storyline of Ramayanam in a very specific order. This collection of 24 shlokas is known by the name Gayatri Ramayanam. Chanting these 24 shlokas together gives the sadhaka the combined benefit of both reading and relishing Ramayanam and also chanting the Gayatri mantra at the same time. Let us now look at each of these 24 shlokas with proper pronunciation and meaning. Familiarity with Ramayanam is important to understand the context in which these shlokas are being said. We will do a detailed study of shlokas and the story of Ramayanam in the future. I will also make a slightly more musical rendition of the Gayatri Ramayanam to the best of my capabilities. You can find a link to it in the description below. This is in a hope that you might find it more pleasing to listen to as a musical track compared to the tune we are going to use to do the study. The first shloka is from the first chapter of the first segment of Ramayanam, which is called as the Balakanda. Before we start reciting the shlokas, we start with an invocation of the name of Vishnu. Harihi Om Tapasvadhyaya Niratam Tapasvivagvidam Varam Naradam Paripapracha the story starts with the most scholarly and pious sage Valmiki asking sage Narada a question. Sahatva Rakshasan Sarvan Yagnyagnan Raghunandanaha Rishibhi Pujita Samyag Yathendro Vijayipura. Lord Rama killed the Rakshasas or demons who were disturbing the yagnas of sages. The sages then venerated him well like the king of gods Indra. Vishwa Mitra Sadharmatma Shrutva Janaka Bhashitam Vatsa Ramadhanu Pashya Iti Raghavama Bravit. 
the sage vishwamitra listened to the words of the king janaka and spoke to rama saying my child rama behold the bow tushta vasya tadavamsham pravishya cha visham patehe shayaniyam narendrasya tada sadya vyatishthata then sumantra approached rama's abode and standing at the entrance of rama's bedroom praised rama and his forebearers in the dynasty this is the part where sumantra king dasharatha's minister is sent to bring rama to be informed of his exile vanavasam hi sankhyaya vasam syabharana nicha bharta ramanu gachantyai sita yai shvashuro dadau dasharatha gave sita who was following her husband into the forest enough clothes and ornaments thinking of the number of days which have to be spent in the forest raja satyam cha dharmam cha raja kulavatam kulam raja mata pita chaiva raja hitakaro nrnam it is the king who is the upholder of truth and dharma it is he who protects the households and the family structure kulam and he is the father mother and well wisher of all his subjects nirikshy samuhurtam tu dadarsh bharato gurum utaje rama masinam jata mandala dharinam bharata after citing the hermitage of rama spent a few minutes looking at it and then saw rama his guru sitting inside with his matted hair yadi buddhi krita drashtum agastyam tam mahamunim adyaiva gamane buddhim rochayasva mahayashah sej sutikshna in whose hermitage rama was staying said to rama if you wish to visit the great sej agastya muni make up your mind to go there today itself bharatasya arya putrasya shvashru nam mama cha prabho mruga roopam idam vyaktam vismayam janayishyati sita says to rama this golden colored deer will be an object of wonder for bharata my in-laws and for myself gachha shigramito rama sugrivam tam mahabalam vayasyam tam kurukshipram ito gatva dyaraghava kabandha after being freed from his curse and regaining his original form says to rama o rama leave this place quickly and go to the powerful sugriva make friends with him quickly after going there today itself desha kalo pratikshasva kshama mana priya priye sukha dukha sah kale sugriva vashago bhava vali says these words on his death bed to angada wait for the appropriate place and time taking with equanimity both likes and dislikes and pleasure and pain which occur over a period of time and put yourself under the rulership of sugriva vandya ste tu tapas siddha tapasavita kalmasha prashtavyas cha api sitaya pravrittim vinayan vitaihi those rishis who by their austerities have attained the highest goal of life and have been purified by their tapas are to be revered and respected you should inquire them of sita and her present situation with modesty and humility sanir jitya purim shreshtham lankam tam kam rupinim vikramena mahateja hanuman marutatmajah the best among monkeys the shining lord hanuman with his courage defeated the guarding deity of lanka who could take any form she wishes to धन्या देवा स गंधर्वा सिद्धाश्च परमर्षय मम पश्यती ये नाथ राम राजीवलोचन दीज आर् दॉट्स ऑफ देवी सीता हू इज कैप्चर्ड इन द अशोका गार्डन बै रावण देवास गंधर्वास सिद्धास एंड ऋषीस हूम सो एवर सी मै लॉर्ड राम हू हेज ब्यूटिफुल ईस् लाइक दैट ऑफ लोटस पेटल्स विल हेव देर लाइफ्स फुलफिड मंगलाभिमुखी तदासी महाकपे उपतस्थे विशालाक्षी प्रयता हव्यवाहन द वाइड आइड सीता विद द इंटेंशन ऑफ ब्लेसिंग हनुमान 
and preventing any harm to him prayed to the fire god with a pure heart hitam mahartham rudhe tu samhitam yatita kala yati sampratikshamam nishamya tadvakya mupasthita jwara prasanga vanuttarame tad bravit hearing the advice of vibhishana which was well meaning having a superior purpose mild reasoned relevant equally in the past present and future ravana was infuriated and being passionately attached gave the following reply dharmaatma rakshasam shreshtha sampraptuyam vibhishanah lankaishvaryam dhruvam shriman ayam prapnotya kantakam these words are spoken by vali's son angada to ravana he says your brother vibhishana the embodiment of dharma and foremost among rakshasas has arrived to surrender himself to rama and he will surely inherit the whole of the riches of lanka free from all enemies yo vajrapata shani sannipata na chakshubhe na pi chachala raja sarama bana bihato bhrushartas chachala chapam cha mumocha virah this is the description of the first day of battle between rama and ravana the valiant ravana struck by the vajrayudha of indra or by the thunderbolt was never agitated or even moved an inch but struck by the arrows of rama he got extremely hurt and the bow slipped away from his hand yasya vikrama masadya rakshasa nidhanam gataha tammanye raghavam veeram narayana manamayam these are the thoughts of ravana after facing many losses at the hands of rama's army on the strength of whose valor many rakshasas lost their lives that valiant rama i think is the eternal narayana himself nate dadrishi re ramam dahantamiva vahinim mohita paramastrena gandharvena mahatmana lord rama was scorching to death the army of the enemy but the rakshasas could not see him deluded as they were by the gandharvastra pranam ya devata bhyascha brahmane bhyascha maithili baddhanjali puta chedam uvacha agni samipatah offering her salutations to the devas and the brahmanas sita with folded hands went near agni and started speaking chalanat parvatendrasya gana devascha kampitah chachala parvati chapi tadashlishta maheshwaram when the mountain was shaking the shiva ganas and devas were tossed around devi parvati also felt the tremor and embraced her consort maheshwara for support the context here is when ravana tried to uproot the kailasa mountain the abode of shiva when his pushpaka vimanam was not allowed to fly over it dara putra puram rashtram bhoga chadana bhojanam sarvameva vibhaktam nau bhavishyati harishwara these words are spoken by ravana to vali he says o chief of vanaras from now on will have an equal share of wives sons city objects of enjoyment clothes and food and not divide it among ourselves yame varatrim shatrughna parnashalam samavishat tame varatrim sitapi prasuta daraka dvayam the night during which shatrughna entered the hermitage of valmiki the same night sita gave birth to twin male children gayatri ramayanam ends with the verse that praises the results of reciting it this is called as phalashruti it says idam ramayanam kritsnam gayatri bija sanyutam trisandhyam yah pathe nityam sarva papai pramuchyate he who recites this whole story of ramayanam studded with the bija mantras or the seed sounds of gayatri mantra during the three sandhya times of the day will be free from all evil actions i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you wish to support the production of more videos like these consider becoming a sponsor on patreon or make a one time contribution through these options 
Your support will help us improve the quality, length and number of topics covered in our videos. Do check out all the links in the description below. Consider subscribing to the Sanskrit channel where we explore a wide variety of topics from diverse Sanskrit literature. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.